All right, so this Nikki Thought Jamie Perkins drama has really exploded on the internet. It's gone viral. Everybody is putting their think pieces on here. And I just want to really discuss what Jamie has said in a very quick video because his video was long, man. That man speaks very slow. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. Jamie Perkins, um, you know, Jamie Perkins and Nikki Thought were a very famous YouTube couple, huge, hugely famous. And Jamie has come to obviously announce um, why he left Nikki, basically saying that she was a cheater, that she was, you know, quite abusive, that there are DV allegations, she was extremely manipulative and has exposed her with shocking video footage and audio recordings as well. So it's a very huge video blasting her absolutely ruthlessly, a video that's one hour and a half and he sits in a car Please put this on fast forward two or four because the man speaks so slowly. I was just like, what is like, get to the point. I feel like the majority of the video was him basically informing us that he's broke, that, you know, YouTube is not giving him the money anymore. The money is no longer coming on into his YouTube account. The money has run dry. The YouTube checks have gone dry and he's now become an Uber driver to pay his rent and to pay the very expensive 160,000 legal fees as well. Now, he has come out with shocking allegations that, you know, he has a no trading order on her, that she has hit him before, and that, you know, she does get quite manipulative in these text messages. If you watch the video in its entirety, he does bring evidence towards that, you know, she's not a nice person, she is very rude, and that she is a harmful, you know, human being. And I feel sorry for the children before anything when it comes to this mess. Now, the video that he showed of her where she gets very angry and, you know, she takes her baby out of, you know, um, Jamie Perkins' mother's arms and then slaps the phone out of his hand. Please leave the house, Nikki. Please leave the house. Look at you. Please leave the house. Please leave the house. This is violence. You've got the kids in your hands. Leave the house Sheila, right now. Exactly, this is exactly what he wanted. Leave this the house exactly what right he now. He wanted. This is exactly what Leave he wanted. Leave the house. And look, he's getting video Leave the house. This has been planning this. Leave the house. He has been planning Leave this the house. From day one. Leave the house. Leave the house. The children don't deserve to see this. I think you need to take responsibility. Okay, yeah. All right. Leave the house. You guys will never see my kids again. That is You guys will never see my kids again. That will not. Ever. That will not happen. Will happen. No. Leave the house. Also, when you know that you're recording someone, your words are going to be carefully selected as opposed to the other person. So Nikki thought didn't know that she was being recorded, obviously, but he knew that he was recording her. I do because I'm I'm protecting their safety. I'm the one protecting their safety. Did you not hear her last time? I'm protecting the children from their safety. You've been violent. You've hit me in front of them. You've you've abused me in front of them. You will never be shit, you motherfucker. Try me. Fucking keep trying me. I'm not so trying you. I'm trying to be fair. I think the only person who can be exposed is you. You're the cheater. You're the violent person. But I'm not doing that because I don't want my kids to have to see the real you on the internet. Where have I been? Why did I just uh, vanish from YouTube? It's been months since I posted a video and... She's come out with a statement that she's going to announce everything and, you know, bring her side to the story. And I think when she brings her side, then we can come to a conclusion. I don't think that Nikki thought is a, you know, damsel in distress. I do think it's not a black and white issue. I think both of them can be wrong to an extent when it comes to this. It's also giving, I can't exploit my kids anymore for the YouTube checks and channels and coins. I'm only allowed to do one video a week. I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke kind of message. And I don't think that should have been the main crux of the video, but that's what he spent the, the majority of the body of this content talking about how broke that he is. I do think that, you know, um, Nikki thought is manipulative. Um, the fact that she is using her kids as weapons. I think when you do behavior like that, it's very much screams of a narc behavior that you're gonna use your kids against somebody. All right. Leave the house. You guys will never see my kids again. That is, you guys will never see my kids again. That will not, ever. That will not happen. Will happen. No. Leave the house. Look at you guys. Leave the house. Look at you guys. Look, Leave the hilarious. house. Look, leave the house. Not letting him go to Disneyland as well. Booking dentist appointments to avoid his birthday. Like there's a lot of stuff that she was also doing that doesn't make her some crystal clear girl and doesn't paint her in the right light at all. She's being absolutely thrashed right now all over her socials and everywhere online. But there are also a lot of people who are split on this and find that Jamie's intentions to be very odd and weird. However, I do want to wait to see what Nikki Thought is going to say because right now she has domestic violence allegations against her. 
However, and you know I love to play both sides of the coin because I think it's best to play like that and be fair, if Nikki Thought came out with this video, I don't think we would be waiting for a side from Jamie Perkins. He would easily be labeled as aggressive, domestic violence, and etc. I don't think domestic violence allegations are believed more so when it's a man discussing them. But if it's a woman, then you know people begin to believe it. The macro, if you look at it from a macro point of view, I think that men constantly are underhanded. They do get abused in relationships as well. And that if you know if it was role reversal and Nikki Thought was showing a video of him slapping a phone out of her hand, we would have then thought this man has abusive tendencies. So why can't we think this for Nikki Thought at the same time as well, if we really want to keep it fair and a buck? But she did, apparently he was putting up text messages where she apologized for hitting him. And that is something that she's wrong for and therefore being exposed as a DV. I wanted to keep this video short and crystal clear crystal cut purely because his video was so damn long. I don't think anybody has time to watch even more long videos discussing this. So I wanted to keep this to eight minutes at the very max, but it is sad to see this going on between Nikki Thought and Jamie Perkins, considering that they have kids involved. They're gonna be watching all of this. And it's a really split conversation. A lot of people online are looking at it very differently. Not everybody is agreeing with Jamie. They think that he's quite manipulative with what he's doing, also the timing of what he's doing. He's probably monetized the video as well. And those half million views, he probably needs that as a good check to bring him a couple thousand dollars in so that he can pay his rent for the next month. And so it does look quite questionable as to why he's gone down that route. If you are OG viewers of this couple as well, she never really wanted to make so many videos with the kids. It was more so him. So it does look quite odd to me, but at the same time, I do feel like he should not be ignored. And I think that he does have evidence. A restraining order is there. He does have text messages. He does show her in a frustrated light. He is showing her wanting to weaponize the kids. And those tendencies come from somebody who is an abuser. So it is still believable to me that Nikki Thought is an abusive individual, but I just don't think Jamie Perkins' hands are clean. And I, call me crazy, and I would say this if Nikki Thought came out with the video first, I want to look at both sides of the coin. She has come out with a statement to say, this is not true, what he said. The videos that he used are manipulated. None of this is true. I will be coming out with my side in a couple of days because she didn't know this was coming out. He got there before her and got his side out before her, which puts her at a disadvantage state. So she's claiming that all of this stuff that he's trying to use is lies. Um, and I think that if somebody puts out that statement, it's fair, we should be fair in, an, in the eyes of the court. You know, two sides are obviously, you know, present their points of view. So we should give her that benefit of the doubt just to see what she's going to say. But I'm no way making any excuse for any domestic violence behavior. And I do think that she definitely has abusive tendencies, but also I do think that we need to see what she needs to say because this, these are very important and shocking allegations. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.